like the speed of sound. Hey guys, Lonely Block here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a professional looking intro for your YouTube channel. This is what the finished product is going to look like. Moving like the speed of sound. It's going to look like this at the end. I already made this one, so let's get to it. Open a new document in Sony Vegas. You're going to need a few parts for this. You're going to go to your browser. And you're going to want to look up a few parts. First part you're going to want to get is look up space. Go down until you find this image or you can just get an image that you like. I chose this one. You're just going to want to click, hold, and drag it onto your desktop. Alright, I already have this image downloaded so I'm just going to take this and put it into Sony Vegas. Right here where it says Project Media. Go back into Google Chrome. Look up Spiral Galaxy and scroll down until you find one that you like. It has to be a circle one or else this might not work can't be one like this on a side can't be like on a side angle like that because it'll just look weird at the end for the finished product can't be one like this it has to be a spiral like this or like this I chose this one so just do the same drag it onto your desktop and then bring it in and then for another piece you're gonna want to go to my channel or the description below but if you don't want to click the link in the description go to my youtube channel go to channels it'll say lonely blocks second channel click on that so you're going to want to go into my second channel right here. Go into videos. These two are the videos that you'll need. Click on that. This is the video that you want. Go to share. Copy this link right here. Open a new tab. Go to savefrom.net. Copy, paste it, and go like that. And just hit download. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to download it, but that's how you do it. Go back into my second channel. Go to center galaxy flare. You're going to want this. And just do the same for that. So now you have all the parts that you need. You're just going to want to put them in Sony Vegas now. Alright, now you have all the parts. Alright, now you're going to want to add this part in only for now. It's just the image. What you want to do is hit mask, go to oval or circle mask creation tool from about right here. Just put it right on top of there. Look weird. So what you're going to want to do is go to feather type and then hit both. And then go right here and just drag it until it seems about reasonable. And if you need more in it, then you can always just... Make it a bit bigger. And I think that looks good. Right there, 31.4. Bring your background down, place it on top. Bring the opacity down a bit. Go over here to track motion. Go over here and put 3D source alpha. And flip it on its side just a little bit so it looks 3D. You don't want it too much because then it will look just 2D and flat. Now it looks like that. Then go to this button right here, pan slash crop, and hit position. Drag this all the way down to the very end and just rotate it about this much. You want a slow spiral. So now it looks like this. Alright, but that looks kind of still, like the background is just still while that's moving. So then you bring your particles towards camera. Go over here and hit add. Go here and just drag the opacity down a little bit. So now it just looks like that. Add another layer, and this is your galaxy flare. Now go to video effects, go to default, drop that on there, and then go to that, hit black, and put it as much as it needs. And then go over here, drag that so it's at the center of the core. Now it should look like this. Rotate it so it matches the core. And then drag it all the way to the end and rotate it as much as you rotated your core so it moves along with it. Maybe that's a little too fast. Now it just follows it perfectly. It stays inside the core. So now you have that done. Go to Media Generators. Go to Text and Titles. Just go to Sample Text. Place that on top. Put in your channel name. Lonely block, alright? Looks good. Go to a font that's pretty thick. Because if the font is too thin, then it will not work. I suggest the font that says Terminator 2. That's what I use for my intro. I go to scale, make that fit as big as you want it. Right there. Alright, you go to text color and drag that all the way to the bottom. So now it's transparent. And then you go to advance. You make this from transparent all the way to black. So now it looks like that and it's pretty much see-through. This is the effect that you want for this. Put this where you want it to come up. So I want it about halfway through. Uh, that looks good. You go to 
pen and crop, and then you zoom all the way into the Y. Right into the center of the Y. So now it's invisible. And you go all the way to the end if you want this effect. And you zoom all the way out. So it matches up right there. This is what we have so far. It's going to start inside the Y and work its way out. Alright, I'd say it looks pretty good right now. Okay, now all we need is the music. Don't worry, it's going to be way smoother than this once we actually render it. What I did for this intro is I made a remix of the song Bullet Train, uh, Dubstep Bullet Train, or you can say Moving Like the Speed of Sound, that one. I just made like a quick remix, but you can just take any song you want. I'll just take a random song that I have in my folder. So I have this song by Non-Copyright Sounds. You don't have to use this song, you can use whatever song you want. Find a nice clip. I like that scene right here. Because that high pitch will match perfectly with the letters that we have. So to drag this down right here and match up the high pitch noise. Just move it over a little bit. Cut off that right there. Alright, you can make that opacity a bit higher. So that looks a bit better. Delete this audio track. Alright. Now it looks good. You have an intro that took you about 20 minutes to make on Sony Vegas right from scratch. You don't need to download any templates, you just need a couple pictures and a couple videos that are provided for you on my second channel. This is what the finished product looks like. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. That is how to make an intro that looks pretty professional on Sony Vegas. If you guys liked it and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and tell me so in the comments. Help me get this video to 15 likes. That would mean a lot to me. Let's push towards 500 subscribers. That would be awesome. I always take your suggestions in the comments for future videos. If you guys have a video that you think will look great on my channel, I will take your suggestion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.